Hey everybody, it's Yusef for Video Game Plot Summaries, and now we are on the third, hopefully final episode of The Amazing Spider-Man The Movie The Game. In the last episode, Spider-Man gets a batch of the antidote, brings it to Gwen Stacy, who promptly has it snatched away from her by Alistair Smythe, who takes the antidote himself and it messes up his legs. Smythe is pretty ticked off about it. In the meantime, Spider-Man goes back, gets the antidote, and then comes back and then gives the antidote to the scientist and Gwen Stacy. Smythe figures out that Spider-Man is Peter Parker, and he sets up a plan to capture Peter Parker, and that's where we left off. That was quick. Let's get back to the story, shall we? Okay. I wonder who else he was looking for. Soon Oscorp will regret turning their back on me. It won't matter what people think of me. My nanobots are the future. <laughs> You're still infected, Smythe. And I don't have much time, do I? And now, my guinea pig, just relax. I won't unleash this on the world without testing it first. I'm not crazy. <laughs> So, how would you like your tombstone to read? Spider-Man? Or Peter Parker? You know, if you know my identity, you probably are gonna wakey, die, wakey, right? Wakey, Spider-Man. <laughs> anyway, Spider-Man wakes up to find that Smy's nanobot antidote actually works. He attacks Spidey with a mech, and Spidey runs away. But it doesn't take long for Pete to realize that he don't have no more powers, yo! Spider-Man finds his web shooters and his cell phone and makes his way towards any exit he can find. That's when he runs into Metal Gear. I mean, a huge spider slayer. The Smythe don't give a damn about saving New York, does he? Peter runs all over that thing looking for an exit. All the while, Smythe is on the PA system talking smack. Only your slow death can provide me peace. Spider-Man. You may see yourself as a valiant hero, Spider-Man. Truth is, you're vain and weak. Vain? Talking about Peter Parker here? You won't get out of this easily, Spider-Man. Almost there. Just a little further. Once he gets outside, Peter, just Peter, finally sees the infection having real effect on people. It happened the whole time I was in there. What, what, what the fuck? The rats be chilling though. And Spidey gets a voicemail from Connor saying that he took all his crap to the sewers to finish mass producing the antidote. How he did all that with one hand in such a small amount of time? Don't ask me. One of the things that is irritating to me about these mad scientists is that they don't use any prosthetic limbs or anything. And Connors is just gonna walk around with an arm nub in a sleeve held closed with a bobby pin? And Alistair Smythe is going to lose his legs and not use his extensive knowledge in robotics to create some legs for himself. He will make a mech suit. He will engineer a wheelchair. No little legs. No leg repairing nanobots. He's got to be rolling around at wheelchair height in a place that doesn't have handicapped people in mind. Okay. Well, I guess the solution is get over it. What an engineer. I bet you Gwen Stacy would have made something. You know, she's just an intern, but she can do some stuff. Spider-Man finally makes it to the underground lab and finds Gwen. He tells Gwen the bad news. And Connors overhears and resolves that it is time for his plan B. Connors, you're all right. 
We can still get this antidote out. Is it ready? Smythe's robots are destroying the city. It's ready. But we can't stop them without Spider-Man's help. And while he'll never admit it, Pete's not in a condition I... to go anywhere. I'll be dancing in just a minute. This cure is useless if no one's alive to get it. So this is it. After all that's happened, it comes down to this. I swore never again to touch this. But I must. God help me. What do you mean? Wait, what is that? If I can get back here before it completely takes over, I might still have a chance. No! Tell me that is not what I think it is, Carlos. Tell me you're not thinking of turning yourself into the lizard. I am not living you think I that nightmare to? again. But how many people will die if I don't? My father died, you bastard! You have been planning this all along! Stop it, Gwen! What other choice do we have? Connors knows that he can solve the city's problems in the time that it takes for the lizard to take over. So he injects himself. While he is changing, Peter loses consciousness. So when he wakes up, he sees Gwen standing over him with a defibrillator. Did you know that Gwen, the intern who knows biochemistry and computer programming and can probably make some legs if she lost some, also knows first aid to the point where she knows how to use a defibrillator? Not like Spider-Man who can only rock your body back and forth and yell at you to wake up, huh? Spidey doesn't know how to follow Connors until Whitney in a helicopter shows up and offers him a lift. He's gonna have to give her some Spidey action now. And on his way, Gwen calls him and postulates that an electric jolt will probably kill the nanobots inside Spider-Man and awaken his spider blood. However, she just jump-started his heart with a defibrillator because he was a normal human whose heart gave out. So now it's just like, yeah, just electrocute the shit out of yourself. It should be fine. So Spidey gets on Metal Gear, and the lizard throws his ass into a maintenance tube. Spidey finds some huge wiring and shocks the shit out of himself. Wait a minute. Jackpot. Let's pull the plug on this thing. This is gonna be easy. This is not gonna be easy! System's not responding. Damn it! Back. Together, Spider-Man and the Lizard destroy Metal Gear. Then Mech Smythe comes flying out all mad. I'll have to do this myself. Peter, I'm... I'm changing. Peter! You won't get away this time. Spidey and the Lizard literally rip him apart limb from limb. How do you like that? Get out of my way. I have work to do. Come here. No! You can stop this, Smite. Connors! Connors, it's me! It's Peter! Connors! <laughs> Looks like you've made a new friend! God! I can't control my hands. Go away, Spider-Man. I'm dead anyway. Never, Alistair. No. Without my robots, I can't save the city. Look around you. This is your idea of saving the city? I must... I must leave us to a brighter better tomorrow forget about tomorrow smite may not come oh my god my god what have i done Reprogram the hunter to spread the antidote to every hospital in the 
city, but I still need a few tweaks to make it work. That sounds great, but you need to skip the tweaks. Connors is in full-blown lizard mode. And he's coming your direction. Of course! What did you expect, Peter? So, Spidey follows Connors into the sewers again and finds that he has one more cross species to finish off. Uh, uh, I shoot a web in my ears now? Here's some more of her! After that, he follows Connors back to the lab. That's where he finds Gwen trying to work on the Spider Slayer robot she had taken control over earlier in the plot. If it weren't for all these annoying ass infected people, she'd be done by now. Spider-Man beat them all up and a few times the lizard tries to take Gwen hostage. Spidey pops him in the jaw enough for him to run away. I actually appreciated the banner between Spider-Man and Gwen here. Glad you're doing better. Thanks. You saved me. Twice in one day. Well, what's the point of saving the world if Gwen Stacy's not in it? Uh, the robot. I loaded it with enough serum to... Yeah. <laughs> nice way to change the subject. Someone has to keep you focused. I appreciate it. So, what do we do about Connors? Check him with some of this good stuff, then spread it to the city. Sorry. I had to do it. Now. Because later I'll be lizard food? Just get out there. Go save the day. <laughs> Sweetheart, this ain't the first time I've caught a scientist who mutated into a giant lizard. The hunter will help you find him. Be careful. scrap heap to find a serum don't try and stop me from turning you back any last words from the lizard before I get my friend back words Connors with syllables Hold on a second. You mean to tell me that this antidote can heal Connors? Why didn't you try out the antidote from the movie before you made one? What the hell is that about and why didn't y'all just use that antidote? Anyway, Spider-Man finds Connors and plugs him with the antidote. That's the end of the plot, y'all. Here's the ending. Anybody except me. What about Smythe? If there's any justice in the jail cell downtown. I see. I guess his dream failed. 
He saw the world in black and white. He tried to shape it to his vision. But it's all just shades of grey, isn't it? I guess so. Uh, well, I guess it's time to get back to the asylum. I hear it's movie night. You saved the day, Doc. Today, the lizard was a hero. He's still inside, Peter. Lurking in the shadows. We all have our monsters. Keeping them at bay makes us strong. Smythe couldn't see that. That he who is without sin cast the first stone. You're so much like your father, Peter. Towers and spread to the streets of the city. Come on, Whitney. Spider Man saves the world. You can do it. Not gonna happen. Spider Man, once believed to be the cause of the outbreak, is now being called a hero by city officials and the public. <laughs> yes. You owe me a dollar. <sighs> I'll write you a check. We've learned that Spider Man not only fought the robots and cross species holding the city under siege, but also helped develop a cure for the outbreak. Hey, what about me, Whitney? <sighs> what about you? I bet you wind up in a secret underground lair of some other mad scientist by the end of the day. And I'll have to save you. Oh, is that what I am? A damsel in distress? I don't know, but you're definitely distressing me. <laughs> Another cheesy line to go in your collection. Going to such dangerous lengths as to break the infamous Dr. Kirk Connors out of the Belloid Mental Facility in order to develop a cure. I know Connors helped you, but I'm still missing a father. I know. As officials monitor the situation and ensure that the infection is not spread, I'm sorry. I I'm being told that I'm being told that Dr. Smythe, who was arrested earlier today for his involvement in this crisis, has apparently escaped what? police custody. A guy in a wheelchair ran away from the police. <sighs> I gotta do something. Tomorrow. Deal with it tomorrow. This is Whitney Chang. I feel my legs again. I'm turning into one of them. They think they saved the city. But how can you regain your humanity when the beast infects your soul? I did the right thing. I had the answer. It's in me, taking my thoughts. My body! I will not live like that! I am... I am in control. In control! I am not one of them! I will never be one of them! This species detected! That was the plot of Amazing Spider-Man, the movie, the game. I like how Gwen Stacy can do everything except be Spider-Man. I hope she lives forever. I thought the ending was especially good for a Spidey story. It reminded me of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, where the villain eats crap horrifically by his own design. You know how the Green Goblin got killed by his own glider and then in the second one, Dr. Octopus fell into the water with his own reactor core? Godspeed, Spider-Man! Dead. Anyway, that's another one in the books. I enjoyed this one more than I thought I would. And please hit the like and subscribe button and comment. Help my channel grow, please. And until next time, y'all freed me like Neo freed Agent Smith. Peace.